What's going on YouTube? It's your boy back with another video. So I recently just did a brand new Colleen Belinger video where more old videos resurface. At the time that I was filming that, it was actually yesterday and she didn't upload her apology video quite yet. Well, she uploaded an apology video. So I just want to react to that for you guys. Let's do it. I I am so ashamed and embarrassed that I ever thought this was okay. I was a sheltered teenager who was stupid and ignorant and clearly extremely culturally insensitive. Racial stereotypes are not funny. They are not a joke and they should never be joked about. A few years later we realized how stupid and hurtful the video was and we deleted it. Not out of fear of getting caught, but out of fear that someone would find it and it would hurt them because it's wrong. I have grown and learned so much from my ignorant mistakes as a teenager and have done everything I can to right my wrongs. Now this video was brought to light right after I had posted a video on my vlog channel last week with my friend Todrick talking about racism and how it is still very much a problem in our world today and how we need to fight against it. People were saying, how dare I talk about racism when I said these things 14 years ago? And to you I say, that is the exact reason why I should be talking about racism and why I should be standing up against it. Because I was one of the dumb ones who said that stupid thing and grew from it and learned from it and realized how hurtful it could be and now I want to right my wrongs and make a difference so that other people don't make the same mistakes that I made when I was a kid. That That is very, that is like a very well put response. Very well put. When everyone's a teenager, everybody says dumb shit. Everybody does dumb shit. When you're a teenager, you have no care in the world. You don't ever think you're going to get caught for nothing. You think nothing matters and you'll say and do whatever you think is funny or just whatever Whatever you want it's just a fact I believe that if everyone was to get famous in our world literally one in every second person would get canceled because of something brought up from their past right another video popped up recently that I want to address and it's a video that I filmed 12 years ago where I talk about taking a flight and an overweight woman sat next to me oh, and I talked right. really negatively about her and it's that awful. one was bad and I watched this clip and I was appalled and shocked that those things were coming out of my mouth 12 years ago space to sleep because that is not the woman who I am today I'm such a huge advocate for women and women's bodies and loving every shape and every size and the fact that I talked negatively about someone who who was overweight is absolutely disgusting to me. Okay. You know what? She has a great point. You know what I mean? Um, I'm sure everybody when they were younger has made some sort of fat joke. Me, I don't know. I don't remember if I ever did. Uh, but when I was a teenager, I was very dumb. Uh, I, I smoked a lot of things and I... I was reckless, man, so I probably done the exact same thing. The thing is, when, when these videos were being made, I thought she was an adult in them. I didn't realize she was a teenager. I, I straight up thought she was an adult. So to know that she was actually just a teen back in those videos, it makes it a lot easier to forgive her. You know what I mean? Something else I want to talk about that has been brought up is that when I was three years old, I was bit by a dog. I needed to go to the hospital. And when my mom told the doctor that a dog had bit me, the doctor said that legally the dog needed to be put down. Now, the clip of me that is circulating from seven years ago is me talking about this situation in a very insensitive way. So she was only three years old. Oh my God, I thought she was like 12 or something when she did that. Yeah, dude, I don't know if you guys have ever seen but uh, when, when like a three-year-old kid picks up a dog or a cat, it's not the most cuddly way. Like it makes you cringe, right? Because kids who are three years old, four years old, they don't know what they're doing. They don't know how to pick up a cat properly. They don't know how to hold a dog right. You know what I mean? I don't think they ever tried to do it on purpose to like hurt the animal. I'm really starting to forgive Colleen, bro. Like I didn't realize she was this young. <laughs> When in reality, when our dog was put down, I was really upset, and over the years I have addressed this a few times in videos talking about how guilty I feel, how upset I am that this happened. Still to this day as a 33 year old woman, I feel guilty that our dog had to be put down for biting me. But in this clip, I talk about the story in a very dramatic, silly way, because sometimes, unfortunately, I use humor to talk about things that are actually extremely painful for me, and this is an example of that. To anyone and everyone who is hurt or offended by the statement I made when I was younger. I am so, so sorry. I hope you all can see that the person who I am today is so far from that ignorant person I was over a decade ago. And to those of you who might say, well, I knew better when I was that age, or 14 years ago, I knew right from wrong. I'm so glad that you did, because that means that there's one less person making those stupid mistakes that I made. I should have known better, and I didn't, and I'm extremely embarrassed by that. I'm really hopeful that I can be used as proof that people can change and grow and learn from their mistakes. Oh, 100%. 100%. Uh, 
uh, I've stated multiple, multiple times in my videos that everybody matures every single year. I truly believe that. The person I am right now, a year ago, I was not that person. I'm 22 years old. The person I was when I was 19 are like two different people completely. Every year, they get a little smarter and a little more mature. They go through a little more stuff that makes them a better person. It's, it's the way life works. So I kind of feel bad making some videos on Colleen now, um, only because I didn't realize actually how young she was. Like when she did the one video where she was pretending to be a Latina, I thought she was like in her 20s there. You know what I mean? When she talked about the dog thing, I thought maybe she was like 12 or 13. Um, I, I didn't realize how young she actually was. Now, I'm not sitting here saying, yo, I thought Colleen was 45 years old. <laughs> like, I just didn't realize how young she actually was, you know? I thought her apology was actually very well put. Um, she didn't, like, fake cry. She didn't try to put the blame on anybody else. She was very genuine, and, you know, she just admitted what she did was wrong. And uh, she didn't try to make up no BS. You know what I mean? So I really respect that. So yeah, tell me what you guys think. Peace.